Right, what do you think of your extended doors? Looks really good. We are making a cupboard of our own design. We made these doors and they are attached to this central unit and then a post pillar which we put beside here. Now we want to create a top structure, put the work top on. This is going to be like a open the doors and then we can sit here and it'll be a desk and we'll put some shelves up here. And these are actually kitchen cabinet doors that we got off Facebook for free. They want to by standard bend in and this is because we haven't really got a frame but this becomes the front part of the frame. We'll secure the same thing at the back and then I'll put some side supports in. Is the plan. This is where we want it to be. Problem you'll see is the door catches. So I have a plan. My thinking is if I bevel this edge, then it will give it somewhere to rotate. I don't want to go to the top because you'll see this bit. Wow, I did a thing. So here is the board, which is going to be the top here. We want to create a little overhang lip here. That means we've had to get a board that's too big and I need to cut it. But adding to the complications are the fact that none of the walls are straight because this is an old house. I'm making a model using some offcuts of board which i can then basically place onto here to trace to actually cut it to the right size hopefully it'll work we need to cut this out here for the base oh you would use a multi-tool if you had one i don't so i'm going to use a handsaw so i've put some board on here to try and protect the wall and we'll just see what happens Pretty happy with that. Oh. I mean, the hole was massive, but she'll be corked. Yeah, see, perfect. Well, 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 <coughs> look at my man. And this is just on a work day. Wow, wow, wow. Darling, you've outdone yourself. It is the moment of truth. We'll see how much cutting needs to happen. It's not too bad. Look at that! It's just that, so that, this side, actually, this wall is flat, more or less. Which is great. So the only wonky bit is the bit we had to cut anyway. Bad for Hansel. That is incredible, darling. Will it fit? 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 Oh my gosh, will it fit? Oh. Is it gonna fit? Is it gonna fit? Shut the front door. That's a bit. It's a bit close. I think we're going to need to take a little bit off. Alright, let's try that. It's closer. This, I think, is pretty neat. Sand down this front edge just a touch. And then in this back corner, it's stopping going down as well, but it's literally right in the corner. So I'm going to just take a little bit off of there. Hopefully that will be enough. It's the last one, darling. Yes, that's that. It's in. You want it tight, don't you? It's in, but we pushed it in. But basically, what it's done is it's pushed the ends in and it's made it bow in the middle. So we do need to take more off. Oh my god. This is perfection. 
<laughs> Incredible! Okay, so we are nearly done with this side, and we did make a point. These doors, the way we built it, basically means that they're not in the middle of this unit because they're attached to this wall, but we've put blocks here. And Naomi pointed out that it probably would look a bit weird if these doors aren't in the middle. So, before we go and do that, I'm going to put the doors in the middle. I've moved this pillar in to make the doors basically level this way because before they were angled out um, and it's required having to sort out all the angles again and everything but it seems to be pretty nice. Didn't need to cut the skirting board in the end but alas. I bought these for one pound. I don't know if they're going to work but hopefully they will. It would be very simple, just screw it on and then soft close doors. Let's try it. I finished the other night putting the uh, skirting around the shelves. Now, there is a fundamental issue. Can you spot it? The top, the top piece looks wonky. All of these shelves look straight, and then you've got a little gap here, and then a big gap here, which makes everything look wonky. But that is level, that's level, that's level, that's level. All of the boards are level. It's just the frame that isn't. And the mistake that I made was, I put a piece of board from here up to the top, and here up to the top on that side. Problem is the top on that side is higher, so now it's wonky. So now I've got to somehow get all the glue and nails out of that so I can level the top. And here we are, much more even now. So we need to attach this to the wall. I don't like these brackets where you can see them sticking out, you paint over them. I don't like them. So I found these online where you put one on the wall, one on this, and then it like, slots in. So that's what we're going to try and achieve. Tension level squidge. Hmm? The French grey is on the wall. We now need to paint the boards and this and whatnot, because it's MDF, we need to prime it because otherwise it'll soak all the paint up. We've got acrylic primer, which is good apparently. So we need to prime it all, then cork it and then paint it. So that's what I'm going to do. So, I've just dropped off Naomi at the station for her Columbia trip, and 
Now the mission begins. Can we sort this house out before she gets back in like a week and have a wedding in between? But anyway, let's have a look at the state of affairs at the moment. So first thing, all of this stuff is just taking up space here in the bedroom as a mess because it's not in the living room. We need to get the living room done to fix the bedroom. The hallway is our dumping ground for stuff. And then the living room, pile of wood, bit of paint, bit of a mess, isn't it? And then in here too, let's close here. All renovation stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. And look who's napping. Oh, hey, baby. You napping in the wash basket? Update. It's going well. See, Matt. It's going to look so good. We're very close, but you can see it's hitting at the bottom, but not at the top. Now, the adjuster is already all the way in. So what I'm going to do is basically chop a little bit of this wood out so that that will go further back in. Achieved a lot. I wanted to hide the cable for the TV. Now, I didn't think about this when we built this false wall. Um, I didn't really leave a cut through. What I've already done, which you've seen, is I've passed an extension lead into there. I've already <clears throat> put the power cable in the wall and it comes down to here. So, yeah, so we'll hide this here and then hopefully run this cable down here and then just make a little hole through into there. So I'm pretty happy with how this has come out. It's more or less exactly where I wanted it. Monday morning, um, I'm taking the morning off work, and things are looking good. Need to finish off the doors, and we need another coat on this section, uh, and then we can put the TV on, and then we're more or less done with this, we just need to wait for it to dry. Oh yeah, and I just gave myself a haircut. So, what do you reckon? I've started to remove the masking from here. Annoyingly, you can see some bits of paper are just stuck. So my plan is to just get a sharp, fresh Stanley blade and gently slice down here and try not to damage the glass. We have a problem because we have a dimmer switch and it is so difficult to buy bulbs. As a solution, we, well, I decided to buy these, smart bulbs. Alexa, light brightness to 50%. We need to seal this concrete floor, but probably needs to dry overnight and I want to do some other things. So I think we're going to wait and do that later. Right then, this is today's next job, which should be pretty fun. It is making the frame for our engagement picture, the wedding picture, sorry. So first off, I need to work out how big Yes. When I bought this wood, I measured it and thought, oh yes, that's enough to do two strips, which it is. But it's not, because the, uh, we didn't have long enough individual strips for the offcuts. So I'm thinking, how can we add extra support? Something like that. I think that will add a good amount of support. Probably would be nice to still put something through the middle. I'll see if they can pull something together from 
the scraps we have. just my over ambitious rigidity. We are done. So let's put it up and see how it looks. Beanie wants to see. She's in. It's big. So I had a look online and suggested to use a four to one mix of uh, PDA. So we're gonna go paint it on. close mm -hmm. okay all right. and stop this is small though okay all right this is small keep your eyes close they're close they're close all right alexa light on shut the front door light on yay <laughs> let's step one holy macromoly that's obviously temporary but look we have space again oh my god so, Our room is so huge. Yeah, how big is it with all that stuff gone? The question is, where is all the stuff, Jack? Where's all the stuff, honey? Where's all the stuff? Our all right. room is so. Oh, that looks tiny now. Yeah, and obviously there's a lot more to do here. Oh, my, so. my cheeks are already so painful from me smiling. Wow. Okay, come on in. Close eyes? Yep. And you've got a light bulb as well that works with Alexa. Yeah, all right. Oh Wait. God. Alexa, lounge <gasps> light on. Okay, well, there we go. We'll do it the old fashioned way. Shut open? Yep. Yeah, it's a bit precarious. I've just hung it on the existing hooks for now. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so you homely. wished mummy. It's nice, isn't it? This is so, you're right. <gasps> the carpet is back. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't purposefully, like things can be arranged and whatever. I sort of thought, oh, I just needed to get it up and let you do that, but. Wow. So it's not quite finished. Today I was started to plumb in and wire in all the record player, but hide all the wires and stuff. They're not, so it's Are in the you... process. Isn't that cool? So the idea is that whatever, whatever one we have playing, we just rest up here. There's like a nice piece of art and just, just think it looks nice, doesn't it? That is so So that's the one that's on there at the moment. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Love it. 